Oh, what a great package that is. Uh, incredible story. And the coach of the West Coast Eagles, Adam Simpson, good enough to join us uh, down the line from Perth. Uh, Simo, I'm going to take you back uh, to that uh, revealing inside the coach's box to say you, you wanted Dom Sheen, you wanted Liam Ryan off. It's, it's an amazing story to tell. Yeah. Yeah, we did everything we could to lose <laughs> in the box. <laughs> so, uh, look, it was um, oh, great memories. And, you know, trying to park the emotions of last year is really difficult. So reflecting every now and then, like... I did just then, it uh, just brings a smile to the face. Hey, Sim, I, I want to ask you about Dom Sheed because obviously the start of last year he wasn't even in the team. What, what has he done to improve his game? Obviously we know what he did in the grand final, but his year this year has been sensational also. Yeah, we probably got halfway through last year and we, we decided early on that we were going to play a certain amount of midfielders and we had five probably regular midfielders who... Um, you know, and I probably had seven midfielders with five spots to fill and unfortunately Dom was the one that got left out just through form. So he wasn't doing a lot wrong. We just decided to play a few more forwards in our side. So and that's the decision we made and we started winning some games and we, we, we stuck to our guns with it. So it wasn't until Andrew um, missed some games of suspension that, that Dom got his opportunity. And this year we've tweaked a few things and we've managed to fit him in the side and uh, he's not going out of it at the moment. He's going really well. He's, he's firing the ball. He's defending really well and he's hitting the scoreboard. Adam, a, a few players are starting to come back into the side. We see Shannon Hearn back in, Elliot Yo after a week or two. Uh, do you feel like you're now starting to hit your straps, apart from your goal kicking the other night, but do you feel like you're playing that premiership style of footy just at the moment? Uh, well, I, I think our good's as good as anyone's and our bad is as bad as anyone's. Uh, this year that's probably happened more than, more than last. You know, we've We've lost four games, but they've been significant losses. So putting that down to, to personnel a little bit, you know, we've, we've been hit with some injuries this year again. Um, but it's been a little bit of system as well as perhaps our players uh, taking off the ball a little bit in terms of what we need to do well. So on the weekend, though, I thought we saw a brand that was going to stand up in most games. And the way we played against Essen, it was four quarters. It was pretty tough and we defended well. So that's the brand we want to play. And that, that'll be the one that's more consistent. Simo, your star defender McGovern obviously has copped the one week. I believe you are challenging, is that right? Yeah, we'll take this one on, I think, Duck. It was um, the chair defence, I think, will come into, uh, <laughs> into play here. I'm not sure if McGovern had to scan the boundary line for a plastic chair before he made any discretion on field. So we'll let that play out, but we'll definitely take this one on. Three blokes uh, missed out on, on a premiership last year. Obviously, Gaff with his incident. But Shepard, who goes unnoticed a lot to half-back. The other man who could be coming back in the side, Nick Nanui, got through the waffle game. How much more do you yeah. need to see him at, at that waffle level before he comes back in? Uh, not much more, mate. <laughs> Jimmy, we'll get him back in pretty quick. We, uh, we, we did the same thing last year. and um, Look, it, it was very unfortunate what happened in, after, I think, I think it was round 17. So... The same process we took last year, played one game at the Waffle and then he, he came back into the side on limited minutes and, and we, we liked that process so we'll keep that through this year and he'll play this week and we've got to try and find a, a backup ruck who'll play a fair bit of minutes so that's the next challenge for us but he'll definitely play this week. Just saw a bit of the vision, Sim. I can understand why you're going to get him straight back in. Uh, what, a, what a great asset that, young, that man is and brilliant to see him uh, back out there. You played in such a great era, Simo, with, uh, with Wayne Carey, premierships in 96 and 99. Do you still draw on those experiences in your coaching now or do you feel like the game's moved on a bit? On-field's on a little bit different, um, but the, the off-field um, challenges that, that we have and management of people and how North went about... Um, the culture of the place and the unity that I saw and was a part of and really proud to be a part of, that, that's probably the, one of the bigger things I take away from my time at North and how do I get a, a tight club and a tight group of players who, who play for the club and, you know, it's getting more and more uh, difficult to, to get our players to align themselves to clubs and, and show that care and passion for, for the jumper and I, I think we're doing that pretty well. Our leaders really care about um, the club's success on and off the field and that's probably the main part I, I draw upon from, from my time at North. Uh, Simo, Sam Mitchell, uh, he's ruled himself out. There's been all this talk about uh, coaching at uh, North Melbourne, obviously, and Carlton. A couple of positions that are available at the moment. He's ruled himself out. He spent a year there with you on the coaching staff. Is that, do you think that's the right thing for somebody to do? Can you spend too much time as an assistant or do you really need to have a vast experience at that level before you, you throw your hat into the ring? Uh, it's a good question. I mean, there's, you know, some people say you should coach your own side. Some people say you need to do a, 
a lengthy um, you know, apprenticeship. Uh, every case is different. I, I was assistant coach at Hawthorne for four years and you know, there's a feel that I was a bit, a bit underdone when I um, started going for jobs. Uh, I missed out on two or three jobs before I got the West Coast one. So in Sam's case, he's in his second year as an assistant. He's very capable. I think he'll be a senior coach one day. But that's up to him. If he feels he's ready and wants to you know, have a crack, then, um, then so be it. So it's, it, it, it is different, but you do need a bit of experience. Hey, yes, yeah, so hundreds of uh, questions coming through on social media. Jackie Felgate uh, has been monitoring that. Uh, Jack, over to you. Hello again, Darcy, and hello, Adam. Our first question is from David tonight, and he says, with the 666 rule, are you expecting Nick Nat to have a bigger impact than ever before? I hope so. Uh, the, uh, the first time we saw it was on the weekend at, at Waffle Level, and there was um, a couple of things he did in the middle that allowed the, the players to come out the front of the stoppage. There is strategies around defending that. I've seen that throughout the season. Um, teams have settled in on some of the, the structural things they can do with a 666 rule, but it is hard to stop if you get on top. So as much as we love that, we still think our, our mids have been pretty good this year at, at um, holding their own. So we're just going to be careful we don't go too far over the top with getting the ball on the fly and trying to slice everyone out the front because teams are pretty good at defending it still. And Michael on Facebook has asked us, which premiership did you enjoy more, 99 or last year? Oh, so much different. Uh, as a player, it's, you're, very, you're very selfish as a player. It's all about... It's all about you and how you play it and your mates and enjoying the, your, your time in the sun. But when you're, um, when you're a coach, you've just got so much more pride with your players and you care a lot more about the clubs, um, the brand as well. So I, I feel the, the pride in, in, in last season, that's probably the best feeling I've had as a, as a player or coach. And Scott Lysett, and yes, it is that Scott Lysett. He is a viewer. He says, <laughs> what is your most memorable moment as coach? Not, not Scott, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and what a perfect no, way to um, <laughs> No, look, my greatest memory as a coach, did you say? Yes, I did. Uh, it would have been last year, obviously, in the, in the final series and doing what the players did. So, no, we, we do love Scott. He's a premiership player and it was really disappointing to see him go. That's hey, uh, Simo, thanks uh, so much. We appreciate your time, as always. Uh, good luck. Fourth position on the ladder, uh, backing up from the premiership last year is an incredible story. Good luck for the back half of the year. Cheers, boys.